all right guys welcome back and in this video we can see that we have now access to the current user but we do not have this user in redux so what we want is a couple of steps a bunch of steps so what we want is once the user is found i want to dispatch an action to my redux store and i can get, I can get the dispatcher from use dispatch right here so i'm going to dispatch uh, an action and this action should be obviously of type uh, whatever we had but we already have these actions defined so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to call this function inside actions so i'm going to say set user state and i'm going to say uh, the type is obviously defined and the payload is user right and in fact more like user.email so i'm going to bring this inside here and i'm going to say uh, user is of kind any so there we go so now what we're going to do is right here inside this actions once we dispatch this inside the reducer when we catch this i can say that this user has the email of payload right or maybe we can just say username as payload right so we can also say uh yeah, that's pretty much it for now because we are getting this payload and i can say this is split by add the rate symbol and we have the zero with us right so once we have that in place and we are on the dashboard what we can do is i can bring in the username now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say const username is use selector which is again a react redux thing I have the state with me and i'm going to say this is the state dot user dot username right and what we want to just make sure is that our state right here inside the reducer is default state and what i'm going to say is my default state has this user as the blank object so you can see now that we get hello whatever the user is right and what we can do is quickly just implement a logout link here as well so that it's easier for us to test stuff and i'm going to say that this is an ion button which is logout and an on click logout user right and we can bring in logout user from firebase config and firebase config should say export function logout user is return um you know firebase.auth.logout sign out right so once we do that you're gonna see that we actually logs out of firebase but still nothing happens well we can fix that later on but now when we refresh we are back to this login screen and now what happens is that when I log in, we're gonna get through the same process, but we do not dispatch the result. So what I'm gonna do is once we get the user with us, I'm gonna return the result itself, right? And we're gonna say dispatch um, set user state with the data as the result, uh, result.email. To be precise right and we can just bring it like this and dispatch could be bring in like this right so now we are all set so now if i go ahead and log in and i do abc or maybe admin admin one two hit login we're going to see please wait and we get a split of undefined let's see why is that the case i guess we have a different um response from here let's just try this one more time so let's just log out refresh login admin admin one two hit login all right so yeah this is why because we need to extract the user as well from here so i'm gonna say rest.user.email right here right so now if i log out we're gonna see that if i log in again admin admin one two hit login you're gonna see we get a please wait log inbox and i get you have logged in 
And what we can do is just say history dot replace, not really replace state, but just replace and say replace it to dashboard. And we can bring in history as well by saying use history as a hook. All right, so we are all set. Hit log out, refresh, login, admin, admin one two. Hit login. Please wait. You have logged in. We are at the dashboard. Now let's just quickly go ahead and fix the. Oops fix the uh, logout button as well here. So what we can do is we can say, um, basically what we can say is right here, logout is a function. And this function, what it does is that it just says history dot replace um, as the root and we can bring in history from the use history hook and then we can finally call the logout user right and if you take a look in the firebase config you can see that it actually returns us a promise as well so we can actually await on this thing so i can say that this is what we want right so yeah that's pretty much it and uh, one last final thing what we can do is just throw in an ion loading right here um, inside the ion content and we can just bring it right here and i can say logging out right and is open is busy we can bring in the busy set busy as well i can set it to false initially i can say set state set busy actually to false and once i'm done set busy to false and actually this should be true right and there we are so that's pretty much it right so if i hit log out now we see that it's almost instantaneous you don't really get to see that but anyway it's there hit login now if you log out yeah it kind of works admin admin one two so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.